musical makes vibrations. Any sound makes vibrations in the air or trumpet bells or violin strings and so on. And that was investigated by an interesting fellow called Cladney, who reckoned that although people knew about the vibrations in things like violin strings, they didn't know much about vibrating plates. Because they vibrate when you bow them with a violin bow. So he set up plates and he made them by taking a central piece of something like wood, and in his case putting on bits of steel, in my case bits of perspex, holding them in a vice and then bowing them. But before he bowed them, he sprinkled them with sand. I'm using flour because it seems to work better on perspex. The flour, the, uh, flour doesn't jump around as much as the bits of sand. And with this liberal coating of flour all over them, when he bowed them, he could see what the wave patterns in the plate were. Just watch this. As I bow it, you see bits of it dance and bits of it don't. And the flower starts to move. And the fizzy bits are there, 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 and there. And the still bits are here, there, there, there. So that if I bow it a good while, eventually I get a cross pattern. And that showed Cladney, when he did it, that that part of the plate, and that, and that, and that, the sides, were in a great amount of motion, and the corners, and the cross over there, were pretty well still, and that's where the flower collected. And when he damped bits of it, or held them, like this, on this side, the pattern shifted. You can see it shifted now. Rearranging to make a totally new Cladney figure. Well, of course, violinists are apt to point out your deficiencies if you grab their violin bow and do this, so you can do a reasonable job with the back of a hacksaw blade, or at least pulling a hacksaw blade back to front. That'll make the plate vibrate. You can investigate it too. And if you make those plates, try and make them out of a bit of perspex that's small enough to sing, like this. Or if you make them out of metal, make them out of metal that will ring. And do it in such a way that whether you use a screw or a nail, you use a washer to clamp the middle of the plate hard down. That one's a bit loose. It hasn't got a washer. This one has got a washer, and the middle's clamped hard on. And you get the best of res results out of that. Well, that's probably a fairly predictable pattern because it's a square. But Cladney used it to investigate irregular plates. And here's one. No one quite knows what that one's going to do. So we'll shove it in the vise and find out. And very simply, by sprinkling it with the powder and then bowing it, Cladney or anybody else was able to see where the vibrating parts were and where the still parts were. And there's quite a complex pattern forming. And you can see, while I play, it's probably more obvious still because parts of the powder are jumping around a lot. And there's a, an irregular uh, Cladney figure on that plate. Well, it wasn't as silly as it might seem. In fact, it was used by a number of people who had irregular shapes that had to vibrate. And there's nothing much more irregular than a violin back. And some of the old violin makers used to carve their wooden backs and they'd bow them, make them out of wood, of course, not out of perspex, and they would set them up the way they would be in the violin and sprinkle them with powder, sand or something of that kind that wouldn't hurt the violin, and they would then subject them to bowing or to vibration. And that way they could see if the vibrations were going to leave an even pattern or an uneven one. And when I do this, we get a horrible pattern. You notice the stuff's jumping around everywhere. But it is doing one thing right, and that's accumulating across over there. At least it's trying to. Because if a violin maker had a good back, he would end up with the sand there, 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 and there. Well, mine didn't really do that, so never buy a perspex violin. But it's really an interesting thing to do. Get yourself a hacksaw blade, an old violin bow if you can get it, make some Cladney plates, investigate the way you can show music making various patterns that depend upon it. I want to know. Curiosity.